Hey class, Jim here. Welcome to fall 2023. I'm going to walk you through D2L to make sure you're familiar with where things are in our D2L shell. So the first thing we see are announcements. We have homework, quizzes, and a worksheet due every Monday night by midnight. And the announcement will show what sections are due the following Monday. So you will see this one when you first get logged into the course and these sections, 6.1 and 6.2, are due on Monday night by midnight. So that'll be a My Lab Math homework assignment for each section and a My Labs, we'll call it My Lab Math or My Labs or My Math Lab, they all, they all mean the same thing. And you will have two My Labs quizzes uh, due on Monday night and then one worksheet. So this semester, instead of doing required discussions, I will have you be doing worksheets so that I can grade some written work before you take a written exam. I'll do a separate video on OneNote and how it works, but that's what we'll be doing this semester. Here's a little post about the OneNote worksheets. OneNote is a Microsoft product that you all have access to through your eWolf account. And then a couple other announcements down here talking about the semester. So next, if we come over to content, this is where you'll see a breakdown of the semester. And we are in a 15 week semester. So if you come down here to 15 weeks, you'll see each week and what your responsibilities are for each week. Here you will find the syllabus and schedule and we'll stick to that schedule pretty tightly, so that's a very important document to have handy. Under the how-to videos, that's where you're going to find this video. This is the D2L overview, and then I'll do another updated one on My Lab Math and another updated one on OneNote. And then some other important videos on how to do certain things that are going to be required of you in this class. In particular down here, it's going to be very important when you take written exams, if you take them at home, that you're able to scan them and upload a single PDF file to the, uh, up here we have something called the assignment tool. That's where I'll collect your written work. So very important to know how to scan. You can either use a phone app that has a scanning feature to it, like the iPhone has a built-in scan feature in the Notes app. You can use uh, the Cam Scanner app, which there's an Android version and an iPhone version. That's the one I'm recommending here. You can also use a physical scanner if that's, if that's your preference. Does not matter, but you need to be able to scan and upload a single PDF file, not a bunch of photos, a scanned document, a PDF file. So it should only be a couple megabytes for, uh, for each exam. Okay, so thumb through all of these tabs, make sure you know what's where. Let's bounce over to assignments just for a moment so that I can show you that this is where you will be uploading if you take your exam at home. Uh, you, we have a proctoring service called Honor Lock. They keep a video on you, etc. So if you're going to do that, then you'll uh, upload your scanned PDF here for exam one, here for exam two, here for the final exam. You have lots of opportunity to practice just to make sure you know how to do it. And I can comment and let you know if it's, if it's working. So scan five pages, upload it, and ask me if, if it's sufficient. And I can let you know if there's any issues with your process. If we bounce over to discussions, this is where you will um, ask, one opportunity to ask questions is here. You can always email me at jim.voss at frontrange.edu, or you can post questions in the appropriate week. Um, ideally, if you post a question in one of these discussion posts, you include an image of the problem that you're working on. And so it's gonna be important to know how to insert an image and that's a, there's a difference between inserting an image and attaching a file. So this is what you want to do. If you're trying to insert an image, uh, this is what you want to do. So you can take a, a screenshot of your, of your problem or a photo of your problem with your phone uh, and then upload it to your computer. And then this is how you will insert the image into a discussion post. So watch that how-to video on that. 
the first task is to introduce yourself to the class and I'm not going to have you do that through the discussion. You'll just click here and this will open up something called a Padlet. Um, and if you double click on the back, the, the wallpaper of the Padlet, you can then uh, type away and introduce yourself to the class. Under quizzes, this is where your exams will be. So here is an acknowledgement, a quiz that just is an overview of what my expectations are and what you can expect with your, your exams. Uh, here is a practice quiz. So if you're taking the test from home, we want to make sure that you understand how Honor Lock is working. So that will give you practice with that. And as we get closer to exam one, you will see it up here where it's fall 2023. And if you're taking it in a testing center, you would use this option. So different options, whether you're taking your exam at home or whether you're taking it in a testing center. So if you go to a testing center, make absolutely certain that this is the one you're clicking on. If you're taking exam one in a testing center, that's where you click. If you're taking it at home, this is where, you're, where you'll click. All right, and then a grade book is right there. Class list is going to show us everyone in the class. And one quick way to email me if you want to email me through D2L is just to click on my name right there. My preference is that you actually use my Front Range email, though, which is jim.voss at frontrange.edu. Okay, so that is how D2L is going to work. Uh, let me go back to content for a moment and just show you the link to jump over to my lab math. Okay, so uh, let's see. So coming down further right here, you're going to see a, a that we call these content modules. You're going to see this content module here called My Lab Math. And if you click on it, I've got a brief description of what each of the links will do. So if you're trying to get over to do your homework, there it is right there. Homework and quizzes are under assignments. If you want to read the e-text right there, that will take you to the e-text. The study plan, which is a collection of all the possible problems in the whole book. Uh, the homework and the quizzes are just a subset of that. So if you want to do a bazillion extra problems so that you absolutely know every possible variation on a problem, that's where you want to go. The study plans where you can do extra work, doesn't hurt you, doesn't count for anything. It's just extra practice. Multimedia library. These e-texts have lots of built-in videos and other resources. The multimedia library is where you will find all of those all of those resources. So that's a really good place to scour and to become familiar with. And then of course the gradebook, the My Math Lab gradebook. So the My Math Lab gradebook will keep, uh, I will put everything in the My Math Lab gradebook, uh, including your written exams. And then after each written exam, I will bring all the grades over to D2L. So your D2L gradebook is only going to be accurate right after an exam. I'm only going to bring stuff over after each exam. So that my math lab gradebook is always going to be up to date because that's where you're doing your homework, that's where you're doing your quizzes, and I will put your grades into the into the my math lab notebook uh, gradebook for your worksheets and for your written exams. So you can always look there. That's going to give you the best screenshot, the best idea of where you're at uh, in the semester with your work. Uh, let's see, there was one other link, uh, one other content module down here I wanted to point out. So the written exam information is right here. So exam one, here's an overview, here's uh, the study guide for that exam, and here is where I will post the uh, answer key once it is, once, the, once everyone's taken the exam and I'm ready to distribute it. For now, that will be hidden. Um, but here's where you can come and look at an overview for the exam and then I've got practice problems built right into it and then I've got an answer key for those problems that I have up there. So that is about it for D2L. Of course as you're clicking through if you have any questions shoot me an email and let me know and I will reply to you or you can post to a discussion and that's totally fine also. I'll be looking at the course every day, so I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Good luck this semester.